Hello. My name is Rusty. Oh, I'm so excited for our time with God. I'm eager to learn every day and follow the Lord to be like Christ. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord, for all that you're teaching us through your word. Lord, help us stay eager and strong with the armor of God to stand strong for you against the wiles of the devil. Thank you, God, that very soon we're going to meet you. It won't be long. So help us to learn today. Jesus, we love you. Amen. Okay. So this is our last Bible trivia question from the day before. Which prophet anointed David as king? You know who it was? Samuel. Samuel. He anointed David as king. Okay, and that's interesting. So remember, we explained about this verse in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. But today we'll talk about the sword of the spirit part of that verse. See, here's a sword. Wow. The sword of the spirit, what's it for? Let's explain through the verse, okay? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17 says, And take the helmet of salvation. We discussed that before. And now, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Oh, really for me, I am so thankful for God's word. God's word pierces our hearts and convicts us for all that she needs to fix in me and all that I need to repent of and change. And it can convict other people too. Sometimes you go to church and you're listening to God's word oh, and you feel pierced by it. I'm really thankful for that. I need that because I want all the sin out of my life. I want to be cleaned up. And the word of God is very powerful. God's word is from him. He spoke it. And 40 different men wrote the different books of the Bible. But they got God's word straight from him. He told them what to write. And they listened to him and they wrote it down. Moses, David, Paul. There are many, many different authors. But I need God's word to fix, to fix me and to not allow the world to influence me. The world will make disgusting things, but God's word helps me to deal with those negative things and become positive and encouraged. That's why we need to study God's word. And I really am so thankful to him. Amen. I'm thankful for the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit because it pierces us and changes us when we need it. So we need to learn to depend on God. You can walk with him, listen to his word and keep studying it. Seek him, stay motivated and you'll be growing and increasing in your wisdom and increasing in knowledge and increase in the fear of God and boldness for him to stand for him. Amen. Okay. Let's pray. Heavenly father. We really thank you Lord for your word. Oh, it's amazing. The sword of the spirit that pierces us when we need it. It touches all of us. Thank you, God, for your word. Use it in all of us. It's our weapon. Satan hates your word, God, so we can use it against him and he has to flee. So let's study your word and we thank you 
that we're close to you. We love you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Say now, it's time for Bible trivia. What's our question today? Hmm. Is it easy or hard? Why did Cain kill his brother, Abel? Why? Cain killed his brother. Do you know why? Why did Cain kill him? The answer, if you know it, type it below. And remember, God will always be with you wherever you go. My precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.